The Nigeria Customs Service says that its ongoing reforms is currently yielding results which has transformed revenue generations amongst other key aspects of the agency's operations. The Comptroller General of the service says that revenue generation between January 2023 to May 2024 has witnessed about 74% growth has the service rate in about 4.49 trillion naira. He says that the service has streamlined its operations to enable citizens benefit from President Bola Tinibu's renewed hope agenda. My appointments came during the nascent stage of the administration where policy directives were being fine-tuned to meet the expectations of the people. And as a kind of background, we recall that under the guidance of the Honorable Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Olawa Leedu, Customs embarked on an initiative to align its responsibilities with Mr. President's Policy Advisory Document, PAD. In this regard, a total of nine priority areas were highlighted to deliver immediate benefits within the administration's first 12 months. These areas were aligned under four core statutory responsibility of NCS, which were trade facilitation, revenue connection, protection of the society, and collaboration of the stakeholder, uh, with our stakeholders. Now, let's talk about some of those policy measures that have been implemented in the course of the last one year. One of the leading policy measures implemented under the guidance of the Honorable Minister of Finance was the transition from the repealed Customs and Excise Act 2004 to the newly signed Nigeria Customs Service Act 2023. The new legislation strengthens, strengthens the modernization of Nigeria Customs Service operations, compliance and enforcement with features that promote innovation within the service. These measures include A, the recent transition from the Fast Track 2.0 to the Authorized Economic Operator AEO concept. Participants in the AEO program stand to benefit from expedited customs clearance processes, reduced inspections, priority treatments, and enhanced predictability in customs clearance. In February 2024, Nigeria Customs Service launched an extensive time release study, TRS, with the support of the Honorable Minister of Finance and the buy-in of the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, as well as the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy. Nigeria Customs has reported a remarkable 74% growth in revenue collection over the past one year, recording a total revenue collection of 4.49 trillion between January 2023 and May 2024, compared with 2.58 trillion naira collected during the corresponding period of the previous year. This achievement was underpinned by a sustained increase of 70.13% in the average monthly revenue collection compared to that of previous years. We are going to be giving you further details and breakdown of the revenue performance during the second quarterly briefing, hopefully in about two or three weeks. These gains were attributed to a number of strategic initiatives and I just mentioned some of them for want of time. The first was the revenue review performance recovery exercise that we spoke about earlier, which generated over 15 billion naira into the national treasury. The second was the 2.79 billion naira recovered from the 90-day window concession given for importers of uncustoms on custom vehicles. The third is the 1.5 billion recovered from decongestion of 1,705 overtime containers 
and 981 vehicles littered, littering all our ports. We reached an agreement to set up a technical working group supported by the Ministry of Finance and comprising all relevant agencies involved in the processing of this clearance in our ports. We also agreed to develop specific clearance procedures for medicaments and to institutionalize a platform with customs for setting up a special corridor which will be dedicated to the clearance of healthcare products. Our mandate to protect society should be seen in the context of mitigating the damaging effects of illicit substances like codeine and cannabis indica on the productive use of Nigeria. Similarly, intercepting the entry of arms and ammunition is crucial in preventing the worsening of our national security situation. Unchecked smuggling of prohibited items not only fuels illegal activities, but also strengthens unscrupulous individuals who seek to destabilize the peace, security, and prosperity of our country. This report is not unmindful of some challenges that we face, and I would like to assure Nigerians that our efforts would be focused on the following in the next few days. The first one, the volatility of the exchange rate. With the support of the Honorable Minister of Finance, Nigeria Customs Service is working in close collaboration with the Central Bank of Nigeria, with the Parliament and all other stakeholders to achieve a stable rate for imports of goods to enable our businessmen to plan their affairs. And on national security, we assure Nigerians that we will continue to work with national and international agencies to share intelligence and develop structured frameworks to ensure that those seeking to disrupt the peace and stability of our nations do not go unpunished. And on food inflation, we will continue to work tirelessly to ensure that the business of food orders becomes unprofitable through strict implementation of the various prohibitions against smuggling of goods into Nigeria or outside our territory. And on open governance, we will remain committed to ensuring transparency in our operations and ensuring relevant and credible information with members of the public. And finally, on corporate social responsibility, we remain committed to launching a corporate social responsibility strategies in the next few days to support the PPAs, the priority areas of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu.